Today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to try and modify my old Hero 3 Black to use this little M12 zoom lens. And this is going to be so I can use it to film my surfing from the beach. I have a old Solo Shot 2 and I've been trying to find a cheap camera to use on it and I haven't had much luck. Um, so I'm going to use this Hero 3 Black. That way if it decides to grow legs and walk off from the beach, I'm not out a ton of money. Um, this lens was like between 12 and 30 bucks online, so it's relatively cheap. And I only use my GoPro to, for overhead shots now when I'm shaping, which I can use with my newer GoPro. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is tear down this GoPro so I can take the old lens off. To take apart the GoPro, I need to remove the front plate, and I'm going to use a plastic prior. This will allow me to carefully pry up the front plate without damaging the plastic tabs. With the front plate removed, this will give me access to the screws, which I can take out, and this will allow me to remove the innards of the camera. To remove the innards of the camera, I'm just going to use my plastic pry bar again and slowly wedge up the inside. I'm going to be really careful so I don't pull any of the ribbon cables and I'm just gently going to wiggle it out. Now that I have the innards out of the housing for the camera, I'm going to start removing parts off the main board. And this will allow me to access the lens mount once I have everything taken apart. As I'm taking these little screws out, I'm going to place them in my parts tray in roughly the same area that they were on the motherboard. And this will make sure I put the screws in the right place when I put the camera back together. With the screws removed, I'm going to carefully disconnect all the ribbon cables and I'm going to use my little plastic pry bar so that I don't damage them. Now that I have the lens mount off the main board, I have to disconnect the sensor from the mount. So I'm going to carefully unscrew the lens mount. Now that I have the lens and mount off the sensor, I'm going to remove the lens from the mount. And on these older GoPros, they're often glued in, which is why I had to disassemble it this far. And what I'm going to do is put the lens mount in an adjustable wrench, and this will allow me to break the glue seal and remove the lens. So I'm in a little deeper than I thought. I had to completely take the lens mount off the sensor, which I was hoping I was just gonna be able to unscrew the lens, but it was on there really good. So now I'm going to have to slice part of this lens mount off because the way the GoPro lens mounts um, on this one is the threads for the lens are further back in the mount. On some of the newer ones, it's up at the front, so you can just screw the lens on but this one, I'm gonna have to cut it. And there's no going back from that, so hopefully this is gonna work, or it could be down a GoPro, but I'm pretty confident I can mount the other lens back on, but this is gonna be a lot better for what I wanna use it for. So I'm gonna make this work as best I can, and hopefully the footage is worth it. Before I cut the lens mount, I'm going to make sure I measure how far in the threads are so that I can keep as many of them as possible. And once I have that measurement, I'm going to carefully mark it on the outside of the lens mount. And then I'm going to take a coping saw and carefully cut the mount. Now 
Now that I have the mount cut, I'm going to test to make sure that the lens will screw onto the mount. Before I reassemble the camera, there's one other thing I need to do, and I have to remove this ring on the front mount so that the lens will fit closer to the sensor. The opening for the lens is just a little too narrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape up this board with some masking tape, and I'm going to take it over the drill press and carefully drill out the mount so that it's wide enough for the new lens. With the lens mount drilled out, I'm going to clean up all of the shavings off this and then all I have to do is reassemble the camera. To reassemble the camera, I'm just going to follow the same steps I took to disassemble it and I'm going to do them in reverse. I now have the GoPro back together and the lens is mounted and the camera still works and it came out pretty clean. I was a little worried there where I had to cut the lens mount that it was going to be a complete failure and surprisingly it came out pretty clean. Uh, it's got a nice zoom range on it. The lens is actually fairly wide on its own. It's not quite as wide as a GoPro but it uh, has a decent little zoom range on it. And when I drop the camera down into narrow mode, it should amplify that zoom a little bit. So now I'm just going to wait for some waves so I can go give this a test. We haven't had a lot of waves recently and it's been fairly small or very windy. So I decided just to go out and shoot some handheld footage with the GoPro of Erin. Um, since it was a day I wasn't going in and she was. And it's pretty good for what it is. I mean, the lens is pretty cheap, so I wasn't expecting much, but the zoom range on it is pretty good. It's not quite as far as I wanted, but I think for now it's going to do the trick, and hopefully I'll be able to bring some more footage of trying out boards and fins. So with that being said, here's some clips of Aaron surfing some pretty small waves.